Hey y'all, let's do some Dollar Tree reviews. I've got products that I've been holding on to that I wanted to definitely let you know whether we like them or not. Probably most of these my family tried. Um, could be me. So let's just talk about them. This family size General Mills Dippin' Dots Cookies and Cream Cereal. My two oldest boys did not enjoy these. And this is a big old box. It's like one pound and two ounces. So if they would have enjoyed these, this would have been a really great value for a dollar but the two oldest didn't like them my youngest claims he likes them but this box is still full to about right here so he didn't finish them they sat for a moment the hamburger helper philly cheesesteak i did buy this from the dollar tree this is my first time ever trying the philly cheesesteak um hamburger helper and it was really good and they also enjoyed it i believe i just used ground beef it's been a minute since i made it i don't think i did turkey because a Philly cheese steak is, you know, steak. It's beef. So I use ground beef um, in this recipe. And, I mean, that's what it says on the, the back. You probably could have uh, substituted with turkey or something. But, again, it was good. It was really good. The Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp Bacon Habanero. These are thin, crunchy pretzel crackers that regularly I like. I like them plain and dipping them in hummus. These were not good. Um, I, I'm starting to find that when products are bacon flavored, I'm not enjoying bacon flavor taste. Just give me the real thing. Give me some real bacon. I enjoy that much better. The Amaral Fresh FX Car Air Freshener. The scent was Arctic Cool. And this is that air freshener that you just open up. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. It opens this way. And when you take the whiff of it, it smells really good. And I was just hoping that this would make my car smell really good. It did not. It, you could barely smell it in um, my minivan. And then I put two of these in a bathroom. I said, maybe in a bathroom, you'll really get the throw of it. And I didn't. So this just, it. you know, they didn't have strong throw. Maybe that's why they were in the Dollar Tree. I don't know. But they did not have a strong throw. The boys enjoy this Pure Kick Energy Drink Mix, Black Cherry Pomegranate, as well as the Blood Orange. The Blood Orange was good, too. Yeah, they, they enjoy these. And I believe it just comes six. You have six singles and a box to go. These are the little packets that you would pull out and actually pour into a water bottle. So let me tell you all about these Craft Jet Puff pumpkin spice marshmallows. These were really good. I made Rice Krispie treats with these and these were excellent. I like that taste of a Rice Krispie treat with these pumpkin spice uh, marshmallows. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all and let you know, please check the date on stuff in the Dollar Tree. I know you already know it, but I was slipping and didn't do that on these. And these were like, let me see if I can see the date on here and tell you all. Yes, these said May 2019. So just a warning. But, and I mean, they, they weren't hard, but they were very stuck together. But they melted down and I ate my Rice Krispie treats. What can I tell you? I used Rice Krispie, uh, marshmallows from May 2019. Now, here goes Munch Rice Cheddar and Sour Cream Flavored Baked Puffs. These are really good. I enjoy these. I wish they came in a bigger bag than this. Just like the Apple Cinnamon Puffs. My kids just love these. We like um, these baked puffs. Are they baked? Yeah, we like these baked puffs in my house. I just wish they came in larger sizes than these three-ounce bags. The Home Store Heavy Duty Barbecue Grill Cleaner. This is an 11-ounce can. I got this from the Dollar Tree. This works really well. Now, I do not have a grill that you use outside, but I have a grill plate. I have a grill plate that I put on top of my gas stove, and um, I do hot dogs and hamburgers on it, steak, whatever, you know, chicken breast. And it does need, after it's done and it needs cleaning because the seasonings and some of the food is stuck on it, this works really well cleaning that grill plate. So I would purchase this again. So I've been wanting 
to show you all this. The Dollar Tree had these. I have not seen them come back to the Dollar Tree since they had these Dial a Mega Moisture. You actually got three in here. They came in these boxes. And let me just pull one out. I saved this for you because I wanted you to see this dial. But this dial smells so good. So this is what the dial looks like. And again, that's the Omega Moisture. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I love this dial. I use this to clean my underarms because I don't use it over my whole body. But I love the way this dial sm soap smells. Boys, anything you want to add? Yeah. Yeah. This soap smells really good. I would definitely purchase the Mega Moisture again, even from the regular, like, pharmacy. So let's talk about these Asian Steakhouse marinades. And one thing I feel like with the Dollar Tree, I'm kind of getting a little off track, but um, I, you may see somebody haul something on YouTube, and you're like, I never get it. But stuff comes at the Dollar Tree when you least suspect it. Something you saw months ago. Maybe even a year ago. I remember, um, what was it? I think they were made by Campbell Soup, and they were the soup bowl holders. So it's a red and white and a black and white checkered pattern. Um, little hold. They were made out of cloth, and they hold a, a bowl you would put soup in. I maybe saw them once. I might have saw them at a Dollar Tree, like in Delaware or something. Matter of fact, the ones I have, someone sent me. Um, but... You you just never never know when something will pop up. So that being said, anything you've seen me haul and you didn't get, don't give up hope. It may come to a Dollar Tree near you eventually. So the Asian Steakhouse marinades. This is the ribs and wings, and this was the beef. This beef is a Thai pepper garlic. The ribs and wings one was a sticky chi a sticky chili ginger. And they both are 9 point... Actually, this is 9.5 ounces, and this one was 10.4. It's crafted by Marion's Kitchen. And let me tell you, this was on steak. This one I put on um, baby back ribs, and they were excellent. I really like this marinade. So this was a first, purchasing this. And I don't even... I didn't even get a chance to show you all I bought this because... My, I picked it up for my son, and he used it right away. But this is the number 29 Luxury Men. It's their version of Polo Red for Men by Ralph Lauren. So, it smells really good. Like, really, honestly surprised that it smelled that good. But, and you correct me if I'm wrong, Bryce. He's over here. He said it doesn't, like, once he sprays it on, he doesn't, you don't smell it. He felt like it didn't last on him. So that may be the downside of these. Even though this smelled really good, and I couldn't tell you what Polo Red for Men smells like because I honestly haven't smelled it, but I thought it smelled good. Like when we were spraying it, I was like, oh, this smells good. So for a knockoff cologne, I thought it smelled good, but as my son said, it just didn't last long on him. It wasn't a lingering scent. Just in case you are somebody who's never tried it, the Ferlani Texas Toast, Garlic Toast at the Dollar Tree, the Six Thick Slices. These are really good. Um, I, I've seen these at regular grocery stores, and you're not going to get this box for a dollar. And I saw the same amount, six slices. And then this last item is the Pantry Essentials Traditional Pizza Sauce. This was really good. I think somebody told me this is sold at Target, but this was a good pizza sauce. Now, this item I'm getting ready to show you, I wish when I saw this, I would have bought multiple quantities of this. But the Clean Logic, this was the stretch bath and shower cloth. And this stretched really nice, like big enough that you could put it behind your back and clean your back with it. I wish I would have bought more of these. I noticed these in Harris Teeter after I bought this. And items like these, as well as Dollar Tree had the Clean Logic. It was like shaped in a uh, a rectangle, maybe like this, like shaped like a bar of soap. That sponge um, went for two ninety nine. This was like three ninety nine in the grocery store. So this was a good deal finding it at the Dollar Tree. And then these way better nacho cheese cold grain corn tortilla chips. 
These are not bad, but the nacho cheese flavor I did not enjoy. I do like the spicy chili. Those taste really good by Way Better Company, Way Better Snacks. Um, they remind me of Doritos. And our last item, I wish I would have had this little piece to show you that got tore off. But these, it actually says yummy, yummy, gummy candy, groovy bananas. And I tried uh, one. It's not bad at all. They do come in other flavors, but I haven't seen any of these other flavors at the Dollar Tree. And I do know that my middle son enjoyed these. He cleaned that bag out. So those are my Dollar Tree items. I hope you enjoyed these, this Dollar Tree review that I did for you of these products. If you tried anything and you uh, deferred on what I said, maybe you did like it or you didn't like it, please let me know. I'd love to know your comments. Have an awesome weekend on purpose. It's Friday. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care, everybody.